Whenever I talk about takeoff, it gets a little rough for me because I've told this story before. You can Google my old podcast, Diary of a Bad Bitch, and the episode is, it's titled Something with Chris Brown. It's one of my earlier podcast episodes. And um, in it, I talk about how I hung out with the Migos and it was a fun night. During that night, though, I interacted with Takeoff in a very spiritual way. We never spoke, but when we locked eyes, we felt an inner child connection. And it's funny how the divine works like that. You meet people for as brief or as long as you meet them, and you never know why you're meeting that person. And all these years later, when Quavo sacrificed takeoff for his Illuminati deeds, uh, I just knew... I'm from Houston, man. That setup, that whole situation, that was weird. That was weird. It was strange. And I don't know how many people are talking about it, but I have this connection with Takeoff and Takeoff woke me up tonight and specifically told me to pick out a deck of cards so that he could talk to me. And he's currently not on the other side. Quavo is siphoning his energy at the edge of the other side. So Quavo is not, <laughs> Quavo is currently stuck. He is fucked. But Takeoff is currently stuck in a place where these Illuminati people keep all the souls that they snatch so that they can wear their skin, essentially, and be the famous person that they sacrificed the talents that they sacrificed, the light that's the lights that they sacrificed um, to, you know, thrive. But as we can see, Quavo's career career is going nowhere. Um, but before I get into what Takeoff wanted me to message, he showed me a lot of cards, but I only brought this one at the bottom of the deck justice because that's what this is about. Takeoff is concerned for offset. And at first I had my, uh, my suspicions about Offset because Cardi B is, you know, she, she's really weird. Um, and I genuinely don't think it's her fault. Um, I'm a great judge of character. So when someone starts off a way and turns off another way, it's always very disappointing to me. But I also understand her background and where she came from. So I can see why it would be the easier choice to choose Birkins over Sanity. So because they're married, you know, I made the assumption that Offset was in on it. And, you know, there's some whispers going around that he's connected to Diddy somehow. So I'm just like, you know. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It doesn't surprise me. But now that Takeoff came to me and is telling me that Offset's in trouble, I clearly have to defend the dead. So Offset, you're in trouble. Quavo is sacrificing you. He has put everything on the line to be the middle Migo that he was forcing on the world when we already know who the talented ones of the group were. Because like Takeoff, Offset never needed to be in the center. He was always the cool guy. And he knew it, just minding his own business. He was never related to Unc and Nephew. And it's unfortunate that what you're sensing offset is true. You wanted to talk to me. Hi, I'm here. Talk to me. And that's another thing that I'm going to get into tonight, too. 
a lot of celebrities communicate with me telepathically. Again, the divine is such a wild experience. Celebrities are really seeking justice. They're seeking help. They're seeking assistance. Because when they signed up to be the stars that they are, they didn't know that each and every day, bits and pieces of their soul would be snatched from them, would be stolen from them. When all they wanted to do was live a cool life, make good music, enjoy the women, the drugs, the sex, the illicit activity, and just be. But it's not like that. So I'm acknowledging this power of mine and I'm acknowledging all the celebrities who telepathically come to me. Jack Harlow, Drake, Chris Brown, Offset, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, hi, you know, I know I talk a lot about this Hollywood thing because it's weird, but if you're looking for someone to talk to rather than harass me in my sleep, send me a DM.